everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Four rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Bazooka's on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight, he's bubbling with confidence. He's on his way to take this tough challenge inside the ropes, but not much focus and passion in these final moments leading the way here. at all times. Let's touch him up. And there's the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. Eddie, it seems very simple. I mean, we're watching a guy here that moves his head. And it seems very simple that, hey, don't get hit. Get out of the way of a punch is the easiest way to defend yourself. But can you get caught up in that when you have good head movement and thinking that's the only way to go? Yeah, you know, that's a good point. You can become like a basketball player who's a really good dribbler. You forget to shoot the darn ball. You make a miss, you better make them pay. Get after him! Scored well up top. Fundamental work, landing the one-two there. Bazooka's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there's some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Little head knocking with that right hand. Targeting that head with the combination punching. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Bazooka. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. Bazooka's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Boy, just staying on the outside away from danger and scoring well. That's an impactful right hand by Bazooka. And that's the end of round two. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or oh, he watched a movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great yep. movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. He's got to move the fight into a part, a portion of the ring where he will not be vulnerable on that side. In a later stage of the fight like we have right here, when you see one guy consistently getting hit with the right hand, what is the answer? Move your head. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. One, moving. two jabs up top. It is the final round. Here they go. 
Bazooka's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Now he ties up there. Fine looking right hand by Bazooka. And now he's targeting upstairs. Good double jab by Bazooka. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Bazooka's well off the mark that time. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the Ladies obvious here, gentlemen. Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, that you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer.